Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the most important interview question that can be asked for mechanical engineers when they go for on campus or off campus interviews. So let us start. So here first question, what is a metal and non-metal? So here metals are nothing but the class of substance which have high electrical and thermal conductivity, malleability, ductility and high reflectivity of light. In this way you can define the metals. The examples you can give steel, cast iron, copper, aluminium etc. Now what are the non-metals? So non-metals are the class of a substance which are soft and have poor thermal and electrical conductivity, non-ductile, non-malleable. Examples of non-metals are wood, glass, rubber, leather, plastic, etc. Now next question, why steel is more elastic than rubber? So here, steel is more elastic than rubber because if an equal stress is applied to both steel and rubber, then the steel will produce less strain. Means deformation in steel will be less as compared to rubber. So the Young modulus is higher for steel than rubber. So the object which has high Young modulus is more elastic. That's why steel is more elastic than rubber. Third question, draw a stress strain curve for ductile material and mention the points on stress strain curve. So in this way, you can draw a stress strain curve. Stress is plotted on a y axis and strain is plotted on a x axis. So A, B, C, D, E, F, these are the points on the stress strain curve. A is nothing but proportional limit. B elastic limit, C upper yield point, D lower yield point, E ultimate stress point and F breaking point or fracture point. Fourth question, what is the difference between ductile and brittle material? So here you can say ductile material can be drawn into wires but brittle material cannot be drawn into wires because when they drawn they either break or crack. Now ductile material show large deformation but brittle material show negligible or no deformation. Ductility is affected by temperature while brittle material is affected by stresses or forces. Examples of ductile materials are aluminium, copper, gold, silver, etc. And the examples of brittle material are cast iron, ceramic, concrete, glass, etc. In this way, you can differentiate between ductile material and brittle material. Fifth question, what two type of surface can be produced by lathe machine? So, by lathe machine, cylindrical surface and flat surface can be produce. If the cutting tool is moving parallel to the axis of rotation, then cylindrical surface will produce. If the cutting tool moves perpendicular to axis of rotation of workpiece, in that case, flat surface will be produced. Sixth question, difference between mass and weight. So here, mass is the amount of matter in an object, while weight is measure of how the force of gravity act upon that mass. So weight is the mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity. Unit of mass is weight and the unit of weight is Newton. Sorry, unit of mass is kg over here and the unit of weight is Newton. Seventh question, how much is 1 kg in Newton? So 1 kg is nothing but 9.81 Newton. 
what are the types of dimensional tolerance so here there are two types of a dimensional tolerance first one is the unilateral tolerance second one is the bilateral tolerance if the dimension of the part is allowed to vary only on one side of the basic size means either below or above the basic size then it is called as unilateral tolerance here you can see the example of dimensional tolerance so here variation is allowed in only one side of the basic size which is the positive side over here that is 20.05 now second bilateral tolerance if the dimension of part is allowed to vary only on both side of the basic size then it is called as bilateral tolerance so here you can see the example of bilateral tolerance where the tolerance is given on positive as well as negative sign so that is the bilateral tolerance next question what is a single point and multi point cutting tool so here single point cutting tools are nothing but that contain only one main cutting edge in the cutter body so examples of single point cutting tools are turning tool shaping tool boring tool etc now multi point cutting tools contain more than one cutting edge in cutter body so even up to 100 cutting edge can also be present in the multi point cutting tool so examples of multi point cutting tool are drill bit milling cutter broaching etc what is a poisson's ratio so here poisson ratio it is a ratio of lateral strain to linear strain here lateral strain is nothing but change in diameter to original diameter while linear strain is change in length to original length 11 what are the two alloy of a copper so brass is the first alloy of a copper that is contain copper and zinc and bronze is the second alloy of a copper that contain copper and tin 12 what is the full form of cnc vmc and hmc so here the full form for cnc is computer numerical control for vmc vertical machining center and for hmc horizontal machining centers 13 question what is dial gauges are used for so we see the application of dial gauges in tool room now dial gauges are used to measure the flatness and inclination of object it is used to check round bar roundness it checks the flatness of an object with reference to flatness of a standard object in mechanical field dial gauges are used to check the flatness and alignment of various job and work pieces we can see the use of dial gauges on vmc machines where it is used for aligning the dies and fourteen question one micron is equal to how much mm so one micron is equal to zero point zero zero one mm or ten to the power minus three mm fifteen question what is a heat treatment and its process so heat treatment it is a process of heating and cooling of a component to change their mechanical properties like hardness ductility or strength now the heat treatment processes are normalizing annealing hardening tempering case hardening so this is all about the questions that can be asked hope you like this video thank you for watching